So now I'm going to stop with a little bit of uh, poetry. So we haven't learned all that we'd like to know, which is great. I still have a job. <laughs> I, can, I can also keep my, my curiosity alive. But how do we know, when we do our science, how do we know what's right? When we do art, how do we know we hit the, the sensation on the, on, the, on the head? How do we know we've done the right thing? And I think it's because beauty and how we experience beauty that gives us joy is part of how we experience the physical world. And if we've got the physical world in mind, we will understand it through experiencing beauty. And I'm going to give you a couple of quotes that other people have thought this. So, but Mr. Fuller, who was quoted by David Baltimore when he was president of Caltech and published in Caltech's Engineering and Science magazine, said, when I'm working on a problem, I never think about beauty. I only think about how to solve the problem. But when I'm finished, if the solution is not beautiful, I know I got it wrong. I studied music with Nadia Boulanger, and she had the same thing. She said, when a composer has made the right choice of notes or chords or length or rhythm, we can feel it. The feeling we get is joy. And finally, I want to close with this Navajo blessing way that I've had on my computer for quite a long time, because I think it's very beautiful. And I passed it by some Navajo friends of mine who said it was fine if I shared it. Um, and so I'm going to just let you all read it. <laughs> and, and to close, these are the, some of the people who've helped me with this work. Um, the people, folks in my lab at UNM and my collaborators, um, Scott Fraser at Caltech who gave the talk last night.